Okay, it's Ray. I wanted to talk about the uh, Birth of a Nation movie about Nat Turner. And um, first off, I know that a lot of us fell for the okie doke when it came to them mentioning his past accusations of rape, which he was found not guilty for. Um, with black men, they don't really have to actually be guilty because they are guilty until proven innocent. And as you can see with him, it, it doesn't even work like that. Not in the entertainment business anyway. Um, white people have, they celebrate pedophiles regularly with Christopher Columbus and their rock stars like Steven Tyler and um, Iman's husband that just died. They were known pedophiles and they they constantly took their little 13 year old groupies around and white people had no problem with it. But a uh, a black man who was accused of raping a girl who gave him head on the first day because she, I guess she got so drunk she didn't realize that his friend was also partaking in the sex. So he was found not guilty, but the friend was guilty. But that's neither here nor there. Um, white people have this way of distracting us from things they don't want us near. And they had a really good reason to, because the movie, the movie is very, very necessary to see. It really is. Um, we went to see it and naturally there were more white people there and everybody who I've spoken to that's seen the movie, they all said the same thing. There's more white people there because they have this fear of us standing up for ourselves, even by doing something as simple as kneeling or sitting during a song. We are their biggest fear because we are their biggest threat. Uh, without us, this country would not be today and it wouldn't last. Um, I think a lot of people know that after slavery ended, they changed up slave codes to black codes and they made little changes here and there to eventually form the mass incarceration, black codes to Jim Crow to now the mass incarceration, the three strikes and you're out and all this other crap, war on drugs. But this movie is extremely important. And there were a few inaccuracies here and there, but they didn't know that much about Nat Turner. So I think that's something that really didn't make that big of a, a deal, not to me anyway. Um, Rotten Tomatoes gave it 77%. Um, Again, mostly white people on there. Uh, this, this movie showed how Christianity was used, how the Bible was used to keep slaves in check. There were certain verses and certain parts of the Bible that Nat was told to speak on. Um, as a kid, he started reading. He wasn't supposed to, but the only book he was allowed to read was the Bible. So naturally he became a pastor. And once, okay, anywho, um, that kid. Now he started seeing once his uh, owner was in debt, he was struggling financially other people started asking, other slave owners started asking if they could purchase time with Nat and he'd go out there and take Nat to places and see the cruel way that a lot of them treated their personal belongings, which happened to be people. Um, he would see them in really ugly situations and then he would be told to read passages about slaves obeying their earthly masters, even if they're not kind. And after years and years of doing so, 
it finally took a toll on him because of everything that was happening in his own personal life with his family, with his wife, um, and with seeing them and everything they were going through and everything he was telling them to just deal with. So eventually he got a bunch of people together and the uprising happened. And the most somber part I think was when they played the late great Nina Simone's version of Strange Fruit after they were killed and Nat heard that they were killing people just to be killing them now because you know white people feared that other people other slaves would do the same like it was some kind of disease to catch the uprisings so once he heard that he went back and I guess we all know what happened after that um they did leave out the part with the white people actually skinning him taking all his skin off, chopping off his head, keeping his head. They actually just returned the skull to the family since this movie came out. I would advise people to see the movie. And I know how a lot of black women especially feel about the uh, sexual assault accusations because we deal with sexual abuse at a higher rate than white women as do Native Americans and Latinos and so it hits us harder but this is a very necessary film to watch especially if you're a Christian so you can get an idea of why you are Christian now and why it is so easy to forgive people that have wronged you to forgive people who have killed your children like these women do on TV after their innocent children are killed by the police. Oh, I forgive them. I'm praying. I'm like, it's mentally instilled disease. So yeah, the movie was, it wasn't just another slave movie. It was a movie with more depth and something that you really should watch and get a better understanding of why things are what they are today. I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. There was even a white woman leaving crying with her little, her little black son. And he was looking at her like, ugh. Because we're so desensitized to the deaths and the, the evil treatment. And, well, you know white women, they got to make everything about them. But that's, whatever. Just go see the movie.